Hello, my name is Darlene Reed. I'm a surface chemist here at Analytical Answers, and today we'll be talking about surface analysis um, and how it's useful for um, characterizing your materials or understanding uh, their analysis. Uh, my co-host is the ESCA, Electron Spectroscopy for Chemical Analysis, and that's the technique I'll be talking in depth about today and how that can, how data from this technique can be used and applied to numerous uh, samples. When I speak about the surface, I just want to make it clear that I'm talking about the top two to four nanometers of your sample. Uh, many people are familiar with SEM EDS, and that looks at the top micron of your sample. So as an illustration, I'm just going to use this book. A micron would probably represent the full thickness of this book, so you're getting chemical information from the top cover, chemical information from this middle section, straight down to the bottom. The top two to four nanometers, which this technique and complementary techniques like it, uh, that would be the OJ uh, electron spectroscopy. We take a look at the top cover, maybe down to the title page of the sample. So that is a drastic distinction from the chemical information that you're getting from SEM EDS, the full thickness of this book, and ESCA and OJ analysis, which are things up at the top.